Hey guys, welcome to the Trash Picture Show. Last night I went to see Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse and did it live up to its predecessor? It certainly did and it actually surpassed it in some ways I think. This movie is buckets of fun with a hell of a lot of heart and some really interesting intricate plot lines that if you're a Spider-Man fan regardless of comics, video games, movies, there's something in here for you. The story follows Miles a year after he has become Spider-Man and things aren't going so well for him. He has a new nemesis named The Spot and he also has to deal with the fact his parents are constantly on his case about going to college. Also in a parallel universe we find out things aren't going so well for Gwen Stacy aka Spider Gwen. She has revealed her identity to her father and has been shunned by him. As a result she seeks shelter with a new spider society established by Miguel O'Hara played by Oscar Isaacs. Miguel is Spider-Man 2099 and a lot more ruthless than other spider people as he sees any multi-dimensional threat as something that has to be stopped at all costs. This brings him into conflict with Miles Morales and as a result Spider-Gwen is torn between her new mentor and her best friend. This conflict is the heart of the movie and really shows that Miles has matured in some ways but in other ways has to accept the reality that he is Spider-Man and certain sacrifices come with that position. Shamit Moore does an amazing job as Miles Morales again. He is someone who has obviously matured but still has a lot to learn about being Spider-Man. But if you were to ask me, I think Hayley Stansfield's Spider-Gwen is the standout for this movie. You feel so much pathos and pity for her and her situation that you can't help but root for her and also empathise with the fact she has to choose between someone that she's grown incredibly close to and her new role in this multiverse army of spider people. As I said before, if you're a fan of Spider-Man in any medium, there's something here for you. One scene in particular had me in stitches and I think a friend of mine, Cara, the Mistress of Fear, is definitely going to love that part. But yeah. Again, this is a movie you need to check out, it's fantastic and it totally lives up to its predecessor and surpasses it in a lot of ways. So definitely check out this visual treat on the big screen. This has been the Trash Picture Show, have a good one.